Hey guys, it's Jay from Skull Game and Network. Welcome to another baseball-related video. Throwback Thursday, episode 2. Today I'm playing Chevy Baseball. Yes, I'll have Barry Bonds gameplay from 9 innings pro baseball 2016 up. I just don't want to double up on games back-to-back -back weeks. So this week we have Chevy Baseball. I completely forgot I had this game. I was looking through old apps I had downloaded, and apparently I had this game, Chevy Baseball. Now, the first thing this made me think of is the Chevy commercial. It was like baseball, hot dogs, apple pie, and Chevrolet. I just thought of that, and I'm like, wow, Chevy actually made a baseball game. Now, it has a two-and-a-half star rating out of 20 reviews. Last updated three years ago. I'm going to go through the reviews quick before I play the game just so you understand the context of the gameplay you see. Like, here we go. And I, I did play the game once or twice to get a feel for it, and then I read the reviews. But like, one star. It was very easy for the opposite team to hit, and very difficult to hit in general. So I don't recommend this game to anyone. Yeah. Yeah. So, for context, the first game I played, I played at the highest difficulty. I gave up two runs right away despite pitching what I thought was nearly perfectly. I think I dropped three fly balls. Even though I did exactly what the tutorial told me to do to catch the fly balls. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to restart. I'm going to go to the lower difficulty. And then I go and give up six runs. So this game's pretty broken. Now the review, this one gave it five stars. I don't know why. But again, you can't hit. Or you barely hit the ball. Never mind hitting it anywhere significant. Apparently the players run backwards. Here we go. This sums it up perfectly. You can't even make it through the first inning without giving up 12 runs despite pitching it in the corners and not even in the strike zone. I mean, as, as much as we might hate perfect inning for making pitching too easy, at least it's balanced reasonably like a baseball game should be. But now we'll load into this game, Chevy Baseball. If I hit Chevy Dugout, it just plays a Chevy ad. So really, the only option is to play it. Again, under options, I can do three innings or nine innings. I'm only doing three. I'm doing normal instead of pro because it's not going to make a difference. Just so you guys see, I'm playing the easiest difficulty. I'm doing the short time frame just so I don't rage over a nine-inning game. Here, I'll even do the tutorial so you can see how easy the tutorials make the game seem versus how hard the actual game is. All right, so we're here in the batting tutorial. You tap, you get in the box. You angle your phone around to hit the ball. And look, it just locks to where you're supposed to hit the ball from. Well, how am I supposed to know that? All right, and now we have a run around first. It's going to lock to it again. Okay. Yeah, I can tell that's a ball when it's literally going to hit my guy in the head. And look, I have my bat in the middle of the zone. It just teleports to the top of the zone so I can hit the ball. Man, what a great tutorial, Chevy. Why can't I send him home? You're telling me he picks the ball up at the warning track as my guy gets to third and he's not going to score? So they don't even let me score a run. But now we're on to the pitching part of the tutorial. Now this will actually be good, right? So you pick your pitch. They want me to pick a fastball. Then I tilt my device to aim the ball and also to aim the bat. So it's a tilt-based game, and they guessed a changeup. So it's good that I threw a fastball. But look, I threw it on the lower outside corner, and it looked like it was going in right over the middle. So my opponent always guesses the pitch. Let me just throw a second fastball. Yeah. And they guessed it. What an amazing tutorial. Okay, so now here's the fly ball thing. Four gloves. And then it says, yeah, to tap the screen when they're overlapping. And because it froze, I tapped it perfectly and I got the out. So now I just literally have to throw a pitch anywhere inside the strike zone. It does have a stamina bar. Oh, the ball's headed straight for a fielder. I'm going to throw it to first, okay. That's like the only part of this tutorial that's useful. I'm not ready to take on the pros, though. I promise you that. Here we go. There's only two teams, the Silverados and the Camaros. Now, I want to be the Silverados, but I want to be the home team. I can't do that. 
The Camaros have to be the home team. Silverado's the road team. Uh, the Silverados are going to hit better. I'm not that worried about pitching because pitching is garbage. So I'm going to be the Silverados, the road team, and show you just how trash this game is. So there's my team, there's their team. None of these players mean anything. Ace Bowling, four power, four and a half accuracy. Now he's slow, but look at this huge hitting zone. All right, so apparently the pitches have, like, a huge drop. But not that big of a drop. You're going to tell me a slider drops as much, if not more, than a curveball? And then I strike out. I probably should have taken that one. And that was a fastball that didn't look anything different from any other pitch. Now, this guy, if I get it in play, he has a ton of speed. Oh, a little grounder. 20 feet to the pitcher. Let's see if I, like, swipe up for power swing. Oh, look at that. Five feet to the catcher and three outs. I'm going to strike out in two balls that want to combine 25 feet. Now let's see pitching. Are you guys ready for me to get this perfect game? Well, because I'm not going to get one. Slider on the inside edge of the plate. Okay, he actually took that. We're going to go fastball up here, barely in the strike zone. He says he doesn't know, and he takes it for strike two. Maybe this game knows I'm recording, but don't worry. It's 0-2. He's going to hit this for like a home run or something. Change up low and outside. That's it, way in the air. Okay, here we go. Come on, gloves. And see, they're like overlapping, and it's an error. What is this garbage? All right. So he gets fastball. I'm throwing a curveball. And he crushes it to right. How is that an error? Get him at third. So we get an out. We give up a two-base error. What is this crap? I mean, like, it's not practical. Gonna get him at third. <laughs> That's probably the best thing to happen to this team. I probably should have gotten forced out and then to third, but man, this game. Oh, great. He guessed curveball. So he scorches it to you left for a single. Why would I tag on a force out at second? Who tags out on a force out at second? And how does he cross that when he was sitting on the four-seamer? Like, this game is straight-up trash. All right, we're going to go slider completely off the plate. And it's taken for ball one. Okay. Going to go the fastball. Low and in. And he gets the curveball. Now watch him get an RBI. Nope, we actually got the out. Holy cow. It's a miracle. I shut him out for an inning. I gave up five hits. <laughs> Two of them were apparently errors, but, you know. Again, this game is just fucking amazing, guys. Hey, a foul ball in the batter's box. If I hit that ball, zero feet. Oh, come on. Come on. Wow, I actually almost got to first base on a ball that went like 35 feet. It's a new record. Oh, that one's getting to the third base, but it went 80 feet. Let's go. Let's go. The next hit might actually go like 85 feet. Holy cow. The tilt. What? I would have been right on that. Oh, there we go. Grounder to first, and the pitcher covers perfectly. So that ball went about 75 feet. Here we go. Let's try to keep this shutout going. And that is crushed to left for a foul ball. That would have been a home run. He guessed the wrong pitch. All right, 0 and 2. Going to bury the curveball. I literally, I literally have my phone upside down to get the pitch low enough. You can't honestly tell me your AI is a smart Chevy. 
There we go. Got the strikeout looking. Got the strikeout looking. You're going to... No, th this AI is ridiculous. All right, so 1-0. We're actually going to throw a fastball now. I haven't thrown a fastball the whole inning. And he guesses a fastball. Yep. Fucking Chevy logic. Go on the slider. He's guessing the change of flash. Let's get crushed. Is that fair? Oh, I caught it. What? So how do I catch that? But I don't catch it when it's literally like within like a millimeter of being perfectly overlapped. Genuinely, what is this game? As I get a ground out to first. Holy cow. Am I actually going to win the most unwinnable game? Furious Prasad. His name is how I'm feeling about this game. Kind of furious. And a grounder to the pitcher. Woo. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be lucky to get a tie here. Holy cow, that hitting zone is hideous. And instead I swing and hit it on the ground to the first baseman for out number two. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really just playing for the tie here. So I can't pinch hit even if I want to. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. A 25-foot ground out to the pitcher, and now I can go play for a tie. And that's going to be crushed for a home run. No, okay. Okay. This guy's just sitting curveball, and that's crushed for a walk-off home run. That one's crushed for a walk-off home run. Yeah, uh, this game sucks. This game sucks. I'm surprised I only gave up the one run. I don't know. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing Chevy baseball, though. Like, I think you guys can see how ridiculously hard it was for me to hit and how easy it was for the AI to hit. Even though I managed to contain them to a shutout until that last inning. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like. If you're new around here, subscribe for more mobile gaming content. I do a lot of MLB Perfect Ending 2018. I'll try to mix in older throwback baseball games as I can on Thursdays. If there's any suggestions you have, feel free to let me know. Now, if I can't get access to a game and I can't play a game... Unfortunately, there's really nothing I can do. But when I can get access to and play an old game that suggested, I certainly would be open to it. Again, next week, I will have gameplay with Barry Bonds. But that's going to do it for this week's video, guys. MG from Skull Gaming Network. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, and as always, peace out.